Hey guys, in this video, uh, I'm going to be opening a pack of Heroes Have Fallen uh, homemade trading card game. Um, so, as with the Ignaris booster packs, uh, depending on which of these videos I upload first, uh, these were very generously posted out to me uh, to basically review and open the card packages. Obviously, get a video up on YouTube. Uh, I was also expecting a parcel from Unleashed TCG, but I believe that's got lost in the post somewhere, so uh, whether I'll see that, I guess, is anyone's guess. Um, so yeah, here's the Ignaris cards. Uh, thank you very much for that, and thank you very much for Matt, who sent me these cards out through the post. Uh, now, the cool thing about this TCG is, um, obviously, the artwork looks like it's done uh, digitally on a computer, but it's based, like some of the cards have got a lot of uh, references to Norwich. Now, if you're not from the UK, you probably won't know what Norwich is. <laughs> and that's a city in the uh, in the United Kingdom. And uh, it's not somewhere I've particularly visited uh, in the past in my lifetime. Um, probably will do at some point in the future. Um, but some of the cards have got um, like, a, like a, a reference. For example, uh, the Norwich Markets. Um, oh, we've got the lucky tear all the way down. That's quite rare. So, yeah, here is the ball. Pretty basic but simple um, card back. Got a little bit of drift where we've got, you know, the red seems to have pulled more to the left than to the right, so unfortunately uh, that might just be a one off of a game crafter. Um, what more can I say? Uh, we've got your typical action cards, um, but the main things what I want to look out for are the heroes and the villains. Because uh, that's basically what this game is based on. So, funding for experiments. Where have we got the rarity? Can we see? Do, 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 do. All right. So I'm not too sure where the rarity is on this game, but I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> Power costs for influence tokens. Yeah, don't know where the rarity is. Okay, so football stadium, base number five. Football stadium is not only home to the mighty Norwich Warriors, but also a key location for villains to to use for nefarious purposes. <laughs> football stadium. And be sure to go and check his, um, the, sorry, his, it's, he's actually um, working on it with his, I believe it's his partner. So yeah. be sure to go and view it because what they do is they actually create something very unique, which is they will take a card to the location. So for example, they'll take this card to uh, the Norwich Football Stadium and they'll actually put the card up while they're there at the football stadium um, in real life. So that's, that's a really, really unique twist on the homemade trading card game. You know, I've never seen anything like that before. But they'll literally hold it, hold the card up um, and show that this stadium is actually a real life point of interest. So, so it's, it's really unique. And obviously, as with the heroes versus villains, we've got the Norwich Police. Uh, this hero does two attacks to the main villain. Norwich Lanes. I need to try and find some of these <laughs> um, in real life on on Google Street View or something. So we've got, uh, yeah, base number seven. The Norwich Lane houses a range of quirky shops and restaurants and is a key villain hiding spot when running away from Portal. <laughs> Kickstarter. So this is a villain. I remember seeing this in the, in the things. Villain's got a V. Hero's got a H. Um, B is the base. Um, U is upgrade and something else. You can move diagonally as well as up and down the sideways. Slacks. Upgrade search. Search your deck for an upgrade. Build tutor card. Ancient Norfolk Battle Axe. I'm presuming this is something in a museum knowing the creators of this game. Currently housed in the Norfolk Norwich Castle. I was halfway there. It is eventually stolen with the shield and used for nefarious purposes. <laughs> so this must be like an item on display in Norwich Castle. Power restoring device. Minion discard. Pub crawler. I think we see plenty of them in uh, not just Norwich but the town I live in as well. 
Landmines. Hopefully we don't see any landmines in Norwich. Found in found in Mousehold Heath by the army. These inactive landmines are eventually stolen and used by Kickstorm against Portal. So the <laughs> so the landmines were actually located in uh, in Norwich. Which is a bit of history for you. Probably some something from World War World War Two maybe. Experimental monster. Army intervention. Mr. Hench. <laughs> He's pretty hench. Look at the size of those arms. Move anywhere. And finally, the Crisp Thief. Yeah, I think we found a few of them in my town as well. <laughs> Power costs three influence tokens. One of Portal's first villains, a shoplifter with a hankering for crisps. And yes, these are crisps, not chips, if you're watching from America. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, yeah, so it took a little bit longer to review this, um, to go through this booster pack, basically, because I wanted to um, highlight the fact that this card game has cards with references to a natural, real-life city in, what, in, um, in the United Kingdom. So, so it's got a really cool twist. Um, be sure to go and check their channel as well, because they're short videos. If, if you go and watch their videos, you'll see exactly what I mean when it comes to um, like whole, they'll literally go out in real life with a card and show you what that card is based on in real life. So yeah, it's a really cool twist. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and thank you, um, thank you guys from Heroes of Fallen for the uh, for the free pack. Actually, I'll see you in my next video. Toodle.